It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. Everybody and welcome to Straddle. It's the television version of everyone's favorite game. Home viewer word was sent in by Heather Hartland from Toledo, Ohio. And Heather, we got a T-shirt for you. Today, the jackpot and our bonus sprint stands at five thousand dollars. Winner will get a chance at that later on in the show. And Charlie has our first two players. She's a hostess. He's our champion. Originally from New York City, Laurie Stewart. And originally from Queens, New York, Jim Lynch. All right, nice to have you both here. How are you, Laurie? Great, thanks. Good. Tell me about yourself. Well, I recently relocated to Los Angeles from New York. Uh -huh. I'm out here trying to get acting work, and I also work as a hostess in a restaurant at night. Well, great. You and Jim have a lot in common. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice, nice to have, to have you here. The show. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about yourself, Jim. Uh, well, I feel much better now. My knees are less shaky. You were a little nervous yesterday. Yeah, but yeah. But I guess, you know, that stands to reason. $8,000 later, I guess not so nervous, huh? No, just a little bit. Yeah. But um, I'm real happy to be here, living in Burbank, waitering, waiting to be discovered. Well, 8000 will probably help. I hope yeah. so. Good luck today. Thank you. Uh, Thank let's you. see, Laurie is our challenger. She'll go first. We'll play uh, Scrabble until someone gets three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble Sprint and a chance the bonus worth uh, 5000 today. Take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. We're building on the letter A, eight letters in the word, and the clue is everybody said her son was a cute little devil. Now, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Don't forget to think of blue bonus squares, because they're worth money. Everybody, everybody said her son was a cute little devil. Okay, I'm going to start with tile number one and tile number two. O and an F. How about that F? Stopper, Jim. Okay, I'll uh, take tile number three. O and a W. Place the W. Well, Laurie, only one stopper left. Can you repeat that clue? Yes, everybody said her son was a cute little devil. Okay, how about tile number four? R or an O. Try that R for me. How about that O? Five hundred dollars if you can tell me what it is. Everybody said her son was a cute little devil. Oh, I wish I knew it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take two more tiles. Right. Tile number nine and tile number six. R or an R. How about that right R? <laughs> Everybody said her son was a cute little devil. And the other R? Stop it. Know what it is, Jim? No. Okay, hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. Everybody said her son was a cute little devil. Ready? Go. Laurie? Rosemary. Yes. <laughs> Who played the part? Mia Farrow. That's right. Yes, yeah. very good. Okay. <laughs> Who was she married to? No, never mind. Billing on the letter S in Rosemary. Five letters in the word. The clue is... They, they like a little hair of the dog. Well, Jim, me. I know, it's okay. strange. They like a little hair of the dog. All right. Uh, no guess yet. Two and five. E and an A. Place the E. And the A. They like a little hair of the dog. I know this. I'm going to go for a thousand up there. Okay, all three stoppers are out. Six and five. Four. C and a T. Place a C. Now, Lori? I know it. I'm going to go for the money. Okay. Oh, please. Okay, how about tile number three? F, F. or a T? Place that, um, okay, place the F. They like a little hair of the dog. Please. Yeah. You got the worst, you got the best. Is that yours, Jan? Uh, yeah. I knew it. I knew, you know, it's really funny. You can just tell. It's kind of a stretch for him, you know? He's cleaned up his act completely. Still dealing with drunks, though. Okay. Uh, Jim, two to zip. Got to get back in. Building on the letter L in fleas, eight letters in the word. The clue is they're frequently in a mess. $1,000, if you can tell me what it is right now. They're frequently in a mess. No idea. Okay. Hey. Tile one. And number seven. 
V or an S? Try the V. No, Lori, they're frequently in a mess. Okay, how about um, tile number four? I or an S? Try that I for me. And how about the F? First position in the word, they're frequently in a mess. I don't see it. Um, tile number, tile number eight, and tile number nine. Another S, and an E. How about that E? Mm, oh gosh, and the F. They're frequently oh. in a mess. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take two more tiles. How about tile number five, and the two? Another E, and an R. Try the R for me. Okay. Is it soldiers? That's right, it is soldiers. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's uh it's officers mess when they eat, they call it a mess. Oh. So it's officers mess, enlisted man's mess. I get it, thanks. Eight thousand dollars, Jim, not too thanks. bad. No, I'm happy. Strike today, but you sure struck yesterday. Yeah. Thanks for playing the game. Thank you. And while I congratulate Lori, I also want to mention that Stevenson Junior High is here in our audience from East Los Angeles. Welcome to the show. We'll be back in a minute. Stay with us. Congratulations, Lori. Very nice to And now, back to Scramble and Chuck Woolery. Thank you, Charlie. Laurie Stewart has $500, and she's going to establish a time. The winner of the next crossword will come up here and try to beat that time. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock, and there are no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Okay? okay. Good luck. Thanks. First word has five letters. It's always up in the air. It's always up in the air. Ready? Ready. Go. N. Z. O. It's always up in the air. Ozone. Yes. Second word, seven letters. He leaves a great impression. He leaves a great impression. Ready? Ready. Okay, good. <laughs> Go. B. F. G. He leaves a great impression. T. Bigfoot. Yes. The third word has eight letters. A good Joe. A good Joe? Mm -hmm. A good Joe. Ready? Ready. Go. I. G. D. A good Joe. I. G. M. A good Joe. A. <gasps> DiMaggio. Yeah, DiMaggio. Mm -hmm. for you. Nine letters, it's three-footed. It's three-footed. Ready? Ready. Go. T. D. Y. It's three-footed. A. Yardstick. That's right, 33.3 may not be bad, depending on how the measure holds up. Right. You know, that's, I think that's the letter selection more than anything else, with the two Gs and the D. We'll see. Okay, 33.3 is the time to beat. We'll see if someone can. We're right up to this. Yeah, you did great on the first fifth. That's the only one I really gave you any trouble. Hey. Well, this is exciting, huh? Lori, yeah. Lori's <laughs> eyes just crossed. So we said, okay, Lori, you get to do this. Going to be an actress and anything else. Now, this is the Spanish version, so do great. your best. Okay. I have to do it in Spanish? Yeah. Sure, okay, um, si el gun de ustedes cuarren on t-shirt. I couldn't do any better. Mande su clave con su nombre y dirección. Hey. Kind of a little French mixed in with that, okay. Well, give them the um, address anyway. Well, it's Scrabble Clue, P.O. Box 67519, Los Angeles, California, 90067. You guys are dirty. You really are. You're bad people. Oh, okay. English. Yeah. English now. It's just, it's just... We'll be drawing your clues at random, and if we read your clue on the air, we'll send you a T-shirt. And by the way, one size fits all. As you can see. Okay. That's very nicely done, Lori. Awesome. Even under all that stress. Yeah, cold reading. Uh, we have two new contestants. Charlie? She's an acting coach. He's a contractor. 
Originally from Chicago, Illinois, Shana Hoffman. And from Newport Beach, California, Rob Sprinkle. All right, nice to have you both with us. Do either one of you speak Spanish at all? Yes, did I do. Did you understand that? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I have no resemblance to Spanish, of course not. Yeah, tell me about yourself, Shana. I started teaching acting with a professional television company, and I've been teaching with a lot of celebrities here in the Los Angeles area. What do you teach them? I, I coach acting, I oh. teach dialects, I teach all different kinds of dialects. Is this some kind of theme week or something? Everybody on here is an actor or something to do with actors. That's I'm an great. acting coach. Oh, well, it's nice to have you here, Thank Coach. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck to you. Hi, Rob. Hi, Chuck. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a native Southern California. Are you an actor? I am a theater arts <laughs> major. Oh, <geez. laughs> and, but, but I'm also a biology major, so oh, I good. act intelligent. So you can dissect the yeah. script when you see it. Yeah. I'm going back to school in September um, because I left school to work, and now I'm going back because I want to finish and get my degree. I love the beach. I'm happily single. Always have been, which is rare. <laughs> and uh, this is my network debut. I'm petrified. I'm just going to let him roll. <laughs> the toss backstage. I did. Okay, let's go to the board. We're building on the letter R. Nine letters in the word. The clue is, they usually ask for separate checks. They usually ask for separate checks. Yeah. Let's take the two, the three, the three, and a five. Yeah, we probably ought to put those in the slot because it gets real confusing to folks at home. They wonder how the numbers come up. Okay, e let's C. place the C, please. It's just a little bit of coaching on my part. <laughs> Thank they you. usually ask for separate checks. Uh, I don't know it. No, but take the E first before you move. Place the E, please. I know you're a little confused right now. Okay? I still don't know it. Let's take the four in the slot and the eight. V or a Z? There's an interesting choice. Let's take the V, please. They usually ask for separate checks. I know it, and there's three stoppers out, so I'm going to go ahead and guess it. Divorcee. Yeah, that's right. I was trying to pick up on your mental uh, thing because the Z was a stopper too, uh -huh. unless it was divorce Z's. Okay, that's Rob, right. building on the letter I in divorce Z's. Six letters in the word. The clue is it helps some women keep weight off. It helps some women keep weight off. Yes, sir. The two and the five. L or an N. Let's place that L. No. Stop it. Okay, Shauna? Okay, let's take the four and the eight. Only one, hun, because you have an N already up there, so you have a choice of an S or an N. Okay, let's take the N, please. It helps some women keep weight off. I don't know what place the S, please. No, stopper, back to you, Rob. Only one stopper left. You can make some money here. Yeah, uh, I'm going to pick the six. And, you know, right now I miss my couch and the seven. <laughs> yeah, T and A. Let's take that T, please. <laughs> Brain fade. I'll take the A. It helps some women keep the weight off. Vanity? Oh. Yeah, you're right, but you had two open spaces and only one stopper left. Oh, oh. Yeah, you need to wait. This is exactly what I didn't want to do. Yeah, well, <laughs> congratulations, Rob. Shauna. <laughs> <laughs> Building on the letter A in vanity, eight letters is the word. The clue is they've been uh, very lucky at cards. They've been very okay. Oh. Five and the, the eight. K and a D. Place the D, please. No, that's a stop. Okay, Rob, you have a chance to do it again. Oh, I'm excited about that. I'll take the two. K or a C. Can I have that clue again? Yes, they've Should been I... very lucky at cards. C? No, stopper. Donna? Okay. Only one stopper left. Let's take the 10. K or an R? Place the R, please. It's worth $500. They've been very lucky at cards. I have the vaguest idea, Chuck. Place the K, please. Last position in the word. They've been very lucky at cards is the clue. I don't know it. Two more. Let's take the 9 and the 3. L and an M. Place the L, please. Last chance at any money on this one. They've been very lucky at cards. Place the M. <clears throat> oh, 
Hallmark. That's right. All right. Bell means we're out of time. Going to play the rest in speed word. Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer. Lie, say, go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. That's up to you. Uh, Rob is trying to tie it up. Sean is going for the game. We're building on the letter R and Hallmark. There are five letters in this word. And the clue is... He gets a lot of tickets. Ready? Go. He gets a lot of tickets. Rob. Rob. Usher. That's right. A little money. One, two, three, four, five hundred. All tied up. Anybody's game. Jack, Jack. Anybody's game. Here we go. Building on the letter U and Usher. Seven letters in the word. The clue is... It used to be music to your ears. Ready? Go. It used to be music to your ears. Shauna. Lullaby. That's right. You got it. I'll just sneak you out there. You got five hundred dollars, though, Rob. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks for playing the game. Good luck. Good night. <laughs> got a rebound in here. What? I don't get up there. No, you don't get up. Just stay right there. It's okay. Kind of coach as we go, right? You're a great coach. <laughs> well, have to be. People be running all over the place. Sean has got 500 and a chance for a thousand. We'll see if she can do it right after this. Thank Some of today's participants will receive Hitachi Stool Cassette Recorder, three amplifiers with woofer, tweeter, mid-range, and powerful speaker system. Masterpiece in technology furnished by Hitachi. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. Okay, Laurie Stewart has uh, established a time of 33.3 seconds, and Shauna Hoffman has $500. They both have $500 at this point. This is for $1,000. Going to try to win $5,000 if you can. Uh, Shauna, we've already played these four words. You're going to play them again. And I uh, remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. And there are no stoppers in these words. All the letters are good. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. First word, five letters. It's always up in the air. It's always up in the air. Ready? Ready. Go. N. V. O. It's always up in the air. Ozone. Yes. The second word has seven letters. He leaves a great impression. He leaves a great impression. Ready? Ready. Go. B. G. T. He leaves a great impression. F. Bigfoot. Yes. Third word has eight letters. A good Joe. A good Joe. Ready? Ready. Go. I. D. M. A good Joe. G. DiMaggio. That's right. 13.3 seconds left for the last word. It has nine letters. It's three-footed. It's three-footed. Ready? Ready. Go. R. K. Y. It's three-footed. C. S. D. It's three-footed. Yardstick. Boy, 1.2 seconds. You got it. You got it. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh, that was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be, Laurie. A lot closer than I thought it was going to be once you went through those first two. Laurie got hung up on DiMaggio and just had a tough time with it. But uh, $500 to you. Thank you. And uh, Shauna now has $1,500. She's going to come back. She'll try for $5,000 right after this, and we'll be back. Stay with you. To Chuck Woolery and today's winner. Thank you, Charlie Tuna. Let's see, Shauna, one thousand five hundred dollars, and uh, going for five now. This is uh, two words under ten seconds. Okay. A little tougher. Sometimes the words can be easier though. If you're right on track with me, I'll. I'll Let's help. try that, Chuck. <laughs> okay, I'll do my best. Six letters in the first word. They're long in the tooth. They're long in the tooth. They're long in the tooth. Ready? Ready. Go. S. T. They're long in the tooth. G. They're long in the tooth. Tiger. Yeah, that's good. 5.2. Got that one out of the way. Seven letters. Watch me. You see kernels there. You see kernels there. Ready? 
Okay, ready. Go. C. I see kernels there. N. B. I see kernels there. <laughs> yes, but it's too late. Oh, you missed it by a tenth of a second. I mean, gosh, I thought you'd get it when you I saw. I can't believe. I thought I was you'd just. Of oh, well, that's what I was trying to. When I, of course I, I can't know. say kernels. I was just trying to impress on you that it wasn't really a major or a kernel okay. or something like that. It was just some kind of kernel. Oh. Well, anyway, good shot at it. Six thousand tomorrow. Sean, I'll be back to try for that. In the meantime, have a good day. Bye, bye, everybody. Starring Chuck Woolery is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tuna speaking. It's rowdy, it's raucous, it's outrageous wrestling action on WWF Monday Night Raw, tonight at 9. Now, stay tuned for awesome action with a dude who can turn a taco into a torpedo. MacGyver, next on USA. Scrabble is a Red Friendly production.